Yes, the business um, model of the Specsavers is unique. And the main reason for that is our unique partnership that we have. Now, we wrote that partnership agreement and it's a very much a, a two-way agreement that we help each other, people in the stores and people in the support offices. We have very strong vision and values, which the whole company believe in. In fact, we say if you're in Specsavers and you live the vision and values, you have green blood. And I think it's very important that everybody buys into that. So, yes, it is unique. It is unique. We've learned some valuable lessons along the way running Specsavers. And I think one of the important things to me is that you actually listen to the customers. And it's what the customers want, not what you think that they want. And it is quite important to be differentiated from your competition. Um, and I firmly believe that although we're retailers on the high street, as the case may be, you can't run retail optics from behind a, a desk in a remote office. There's a lot of customer care there, eye and hearing care, and you need people in the store that really are there for the customers. So uh, um, those are the things that we've learned along the way. And, and that's lasted uh, 40 years. Uh, and, and, but there have been three stages, the stage of local and regional learning. And, and for that, you require um, basically uh, startup specialists, commercial people in your industry with a wide range. But when we come then to become nationwide, aspiring to be a national company, you actually need leaders uh, more skilled than yourself to actually with got experience as career professionals. Now, when we come on to international, that was a different learning experience. We needed to have international career specialists, those people who could master international technology and international marketing and branding uh, and many other skills. So having people around you with greater skills than yourself is very much paramount to our learning. One would love to, give, love to give lots of advice to students coming on and maybe starting their own businesses. Foremost, you've got to have a passion for what you do because it's not easy. It's not a nine to five job. You wake up thinking about whatever you're doing and you go to sleep thinking about your business. So you have to be prepared for that. Um, and I've always said that as you grow and get a little bit bigger, always employ somebody who knows more than you. That way you keep your company moving forward. Um, and as I say, have the passion and know that you're doing something different in the market that you're in. Yes, with your ambition, uh, it's never too early to start coming out of university. But the first thing to realize is that you, you actually need to uh, have more experience. You need to be in the world of work in your industry of choice and preferably to, to join the right company, a company that will help your development, your, your people skills, provide you mentorship and leadership. And, and that is so vital. And as the months and years go on, you might have to even change your company in order to widen those skills. So the answer is not to rush into owning your own business. You have to ask yourself, all the time, as Mary has said, making a difference is paramount. Can you make a difference? And do remember, we had 15 years in optics before we started Specsavers. So we learned a lot and we knew exactly what we needed to do in the market that we were in. So that's important as well.